So this is a tiny A-frame above uh, the ground around 40 feet. There's a lot of little mountains around and we're also at the height of the trees. This is a getaway that has everything inside to uh, feel comfortable. So bed, a shower, AC, everything to cook and a very nice view on the St. Lawrence River. We started thinking about this more than three years ago. My brother Simon and I and Herberto were really thinking about playing with the A-frame because we'd never designed an A-frame cabin before. And also to have a cabin on stilt because of the land, it was very steep. So that was uh, the start of it. It was a very long process. So before, like the for, from the first drawings to uh, this cabin build and finish, um, the final product is definitely different than what we've expected, and it's way better. It's also the addition of all the people that came and worked with us that added their little thing. It's 100% steel, so like the, the structure, the stilt, and the, the staircase, everything is 100% steel. When you arrive, uh, you have a staircase, so you go up about 40 stair and then there's a bridge that you cross and then you get into the cabin. So it's a little bit over 200 square feet. Um, it's hard to exactly tell because it's in a diamond shape, so it's not typically just an A-frame. I think it's very different of when you see the cabin outside, like the angles, and then when you're inside, it's a lot more of circles, curves, and it's more of flow. So we really wanted to play with the contrast of that, so we really like that. Well, when you come in, uh, of course, it's a very small space, but you need space to put your clothes and shoes and stuff like that. So you have little dryers here and like for the coats and there. Well, it's a cabin with a lot of angles, so we had to play with it. That's why you have uh, this kind of uh, space. And then next you have uh, the just the toilet. So uh, because it's a very small space, it's really just uh, the, the toilet and the shower is apart. Because of we needed more space, uh, we, we needed to do a curve door. So if it would have been flat, we would have uh, enough space. Everything is really made in the shop. So the, the lamination, this is like a couple of layers that we've put on a, a mold to really like have the shape we wanted. And as you see, it's, it's, it's cut in also another piece. So it's not just to make a curved door, it's also to make everything in the same curves. We even weld the <laughs> tiny shape of the cabin for the toilet paper holder. We really like to play with lights. We think the ambience and the, the experience that you're gonna live, it's very connected to the light that you have around. So there's a ton of options. You see there's a couple places that the, there's uh, LED stripes. You have this light that's funky, you have like the other that's uh, in the bathroom. In the shower you have a little light at the bottom and then you have also the lights in the head of the bed and also the light at the top. And then if you go to the shower, uh, it's very tight space. So when we arrive with incorporating the shower, we really wanted to keep the space open. Uh, so when you, you're here right now where I am, well, you, you, you don't have a wall that's like cutting the space. So the translucent of the, the space is very important. So that's why we play with glass and also the heights of it. It's very nice to be in there. Behind this is all the electricity. And then in the angle, you have the water heater. That's quite big. We have a 40 gallon uh, tank. And then next to it, um, you have the, well, the little fridge and that's the axis you go to uh, all the uh, electricity and um, mechanical room. But so the kitchen, it's uh, for rental, so it's uh, mini minimalism, but uh, everything that you need. A very deep countertop to have enough space to cook. Uh, well, it's also stainless steel for us, for maintenance, it's easier. It's also, we really like the, the contrast with the woods. And then we cut with the CNC the holes for the fan. And then you go to the drawers, everything is handmade here. Uh, we went for homemade handles and again, circles. We really wanted to play with curbs and stuff like that. Um, the inside of the drawers uh, is also cut with the CNC, so the cutlery holder. Um, everything you need, a lot of space for small kitchen, 
We have a uh, running water here uh, and then it's a uh, granite uh, sink. And then as you move through the, the space of the cabin closer to the window, well, we went to the open space to have everything accessible, again with curves. So everything is there on the little shelves. And most important part, the wine glasses holder and the wine bottles holders. Everything is homemade. Uh, so we've molded everything. So the wood, uh, this is not straps, this is uh, wood that was molded to all the, the, the wine or champagne or whatever you want to drink to have a, a nice uh, evening. So when you get closer to the glass, you can really see the diamond shape. So the little angle that uh, we've kept and that we think that really created a unique space, not just an A-frame. It's very usable also as a diamond shape because if I sit here, uh, you see like I have the space of the counter here, my head is clearing. So a lot of space, it's not like losing any of the stuff. And underneath the sink and the countertop, we ran the plumbing into the angle so really close to the countertop and the angle. So the drawer, the space we have left behind the drawers. So there's not a lot of space that we lost playing with those angles. So it's very nice. Here we have the table. Um, so again, we really wanted to not obstruct the view. Uh, so we built in the table into the glass frame. So the aluminum, it's aluminum glass frame. Uh, and then we've really like built in the table and it's pretty uh, solid and it looks like it's part of the window which was what we wanted. You want to sleep as close as possible and comfortable of the view. Uh, this is a queen size bed um, that underneath it uh, we integrated the air exchanger and then there's uh, drawers also. The head of the bed is made uh, with a little curve uh, to flow with the rest and we integrated a little light that's also dimmable so if you want uh, just a little quiet light or if you want to be able to read well you can do both we wanted to have a different perspective so we integrated two uh, skylight so one that opens up for the air to flow and the one that's just like there for the light on the bridge itself you have a little space so you can just drink coffee and have fun here but then if you go down below the cabin there's a deck and there's a homemade fire pit it's also a grill so you can uh, cook on it and uh, there's a ski chair to sit on that we rebuild and repaint so it's uh, Canada, big winter, uh, so we have a eating floor just for, uh, well, of course, eating the place up, but also a lot of comfort. Because the cabin is up in the air, there's a lot of air flowing underneath. So in that type of cabin, it's really hard to keep the feet warm and the eating floor is just perfect to, to be really comfy. We also have uh, the eat pump which in the summer is uh, AC. So it's very small space and very well insulated also. So uh, it's easy to, uh, to keep it warm. So, well, the cabin is fully equipped. So we have running water, we have electricity, uh, everything is here. So of course we're up in the air. It was a bit more complex. We live in Canada and it's, it has a 60 uh, Celsius degrees difference in the summer versus in the winter. So we have a running water that comes into the staircase that we put an isolated box around it. And the gray water is also going down too. So it's keeping it uh, warmer. And we also put a uh, heat cable to make sure that everything's not gonna be freezing. And bringing electricity up here was a challenge. But then because we're in Quebec and our electricity is renewable, so we just plugged in into the grid. We bring everything up in the hill and uh, we're plugged in. So the foundation here was uh, very critical because uh, we're in an earthquake zone and we're almost 40 feet in the air. So we had to do very deep still. So we drilled in the rock for about the same height that the cabin is right now, so almost 30 feet uh, down. But then there's also the staircase that really helps to keep the cabin very stable. 
So Robert Borel is a business that uh, my brother and I created. We're based in Charlevoix in Quebec. We started with three cabins and now six years later we just finished the 34 cabin. All cabins are designed in house and built in house. And there's different type of cabins. Some are up in the air like here. We have also cabins that we've made out of uh, shipping containers and some also that are really like a big glass and a rooftop deck and it's a glamping project. There's also a spa zone and other stuff around, so we want people to have experience in, in the nature. Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and please share this video if you liked it. You can also follow Repair Boreal on Instagram and on their website. Thanks for watching.